here, I want you guys to understand, brothers and sisters, why there is such a need to keep us in a sleep state. We are mystical beings. All right. You understand that we are mystical beings. And this literally depicts the ancient powers that are within us. We fall victim to ourselves by looking for a savior outside of ourselves when this information, and even though the scrolls and all are all destroyed, this information is deep within our souls. All right. All of this is deep within us. It's buried deep within us. You see the serpent energy, the uh, the plasma that you saw at the beginning. I mean, there we go, the fire. You see the fire that's there. Um, we have the ability to make all this. Look at the water. Here's the water there. I mean, you understand this is all a part of our structure. We as the original beings, but they had to use the whites. All right, they had to. All right. Now, you notice, you see, that there's a dark energy. That's pure dark darkness coming. Then that darkness literally was, is, you know, ether in electrical form was literally discharged, causing things to just be destroyed. And the, the, the ability to make things move. And you see, they're using the wands. This is a part of our ancestry. All right. This is a part of our ancestry. So it's, it's important that we understand how and why, how we, we're, we were originally and why our enemies have fought so hard against us. OK, let's move on. Now, here's another one. All right. And, you know, this represents us as sorcerers, wizards, witches, mystical beings. And this is a part of our makeup. And this is the part that these inorganic beings need to be um, put into need us for need. In, they need for us to be put in a sleep state. And we did all this with complete belief in ourselves. You have no idea how many beings that we fought against. All right. How many beings we fought against the things that we did to protect our planet. And for us to literally forget where we come from is something that um, is 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 literally uncalled for why have we forgotten why have we forgotten the mystical energies the mystical powers the mystical um, um, mindset the mystical souls we are mystical beings this is who we are and this is what makes us so dangerous as far as the Atlanteans is concerned our history is well known across the cosmos all right that's why I say, you know, we are the most dangerous beings in our fully, full awakened self. And this literally depicts who we are as the original beings, fearless. And we believed in the powers within us. We believed in our energies. We believed everything. And we believed in everything dealing with nature, the cosmos, the souls, where we come from. You understand this? So it, this, is, this, is, this is very important. For us to return back to the mystics. Now, Jean Grey literally represents the original women and their original powers. All right. You have to remember that this is all based upon who we are as mystics. All right. Mystical beings in full energy. Understand who we are. Okay. It is well documented on how our women, the original mystical women, could shift into a more powerful energy. Beautiful, dark-skinned sisters literally turning into pure fire. Understand that our history 
our legacy, our everything is right there in front of us. It's just that we got to put the puzzle pieces together, okay? Now, you have to understand that our women were targeted, okay? Our women were targeted. Our women were targeted are targeted individuals and this is why the whole Jesus thing is my husband and Allah is my husband and Jehovah is my husband and Yahushua is my husband because our women are extremely powerful mystical beings in their true power all right and this is why we have a whole system that taught us how to go against ourselves. We got a whole system. We got brothers and sisters fighting against themselves, especially the sisters fighting against themselves. Why? Because we because these beings do not want us to stand against them in full power. All right? And and these are treasures that are deep within you. Though like I said, though the scrolls have been destroyed and information has been withheld, all of this knowledge and all of this power is literally deep within us. You have to dig deep down within yourself because you are literally the cosmos, which means that you got to go and dig for this power. All right. You've got to dig for this energy. You've got to you've got to dig for the, because the scrolls are within your blood, though they wrote the, the our ancestors wrote on the scrolls and sent information on the scrolls and and though many, many of this information has been passed down from generation to generation by word of mouth it's in your blood all right you understand that this is within your blood this is within the most inner depths of your everything brothers and sisters you know our women are literally the most powerful ever but it's important that you ladies it's important this is extremely important that you go deep within yourself find this energy you have to be serious about this this is some extremely powerful energy and we have a whole enemy who work who's literally working day in day out against us to keep us in a sleep state so that we would not see this so that we, so I'm sorry, so that they would not see this, so that we could not be this. See, our women, the, the energy within uh, within them has the ability and the power to literally cause beings to be de-atomized. Yes, their atoms just break up into pieces and just, you know, this is who we are. So the phoenix represents the feminine energy, this powerful energy within within our women. This is what the phoenix represents. We are literally mystical beings. This is why we're the most powerful. I don't care what anybody says, brothers and sisters. As you can see, these inorganic beings, they have record of what power we have within us. And it's up to us to literally pull this power out of us. We've got to go into the, the most darkest areas within us. Find yourself. There's a treasure bit that is that is deep within you that is waiting to be found. All right. There's a treasure within you. Though we might not have our charging stations, we may not have other things that we had in the past. But brothers and sisters, you put yourself to the test. You go deep within yourself and you find this power. You find this power. Understand the chance. Alright, understand that there is an ultimate power that is within us, both male and female. We uh, 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 Atlanteans, the ancient golden warriors, we all could contain that feminine, that feminine spiritual energy within us that is that is literally, literally linked into nature and the cosmos. All right. Peace to my soul, family. Peace to my soul, tribe. Today we gonna talk about chaos energy and what is it? Come on, check it out. For being a suit for energy, we are able to access and tap into and already have different facets of energy. You can tap into the energy or emotion or energy emotion of love, hate, joy, laughter, sadness, madness. But there's an energy that encompasses all those energies that exists primarily within the neuromelanated community. 
especially within the divine feminine of the neuromelanated community. And that doesn't mean that other people aren't able to tap into it as well. Because this is such a powerful, potent energy, they have to be ready. They have to be able to access this amount of energy. When you break down the etymology of the word chaos, it means the primeval or ancient emptiness of the universe. It means void. It means abyss. You can also relate this to the creation story in the Bible in Genesis talking about the darkness. So in a sense, it's ancient nothingness, right? But let's continue to break down the word chaos. When you break down the word chaos, C-H-A, which would be K or Ka, where do we know Ka from? We know the vibration Ka from Kemeticism. Ka and Kemeticism means life force energy. So what does Os mean? When you look at Os as a suffix, it means having something. So when you look at the grand totality of that whole thing, chaos energy would be the primeval emptiness of the cosmos that is nothing but still has the possibilities of something. Understand this power, y'all. Omnistand this power. Chaos energy is an energy or a field that you can tap into. Complete nothingness to create endless possibilities of somethingness. Chaos energy is destruction, but it's also creation, rebirth, and transformation. See, the neuromelanated mamas innately knew that they had this ability. What they always used to say, I done brought you into this world, I can take you out of it. Y'all just innately know this ability that y'all have. And y'all really don't even be realizing the things that y'all be saying. That's why I'm so adamant on pushing the divine feminine to really step into their power holistically. Not just one side. You have to be a middle path or goddess. Talking to the guys too. Because we have this chaos energy as well. The majority of us are more so on the destructive side of this chaos energy. But it needs to be in harmonization. It needs to be in balance. You can look at this chaos energy. This pure, dark, etheric energy. That's the supreme subconscious being. God, right? The primordial waters of thought and consciousness. That is so dark it became clear. It's just like how you look into water, right? And when you look down in the water, the water is dark. But you can see your reflection clear as day. This chaos energy is also the black dot. The black sun, the neuromelanin. Because your neuromelanin can also encompass all forms of light, frequency, and energy. And then reconstitute it in an alchemic way. But all the fear that the gods and goddesses is running around with, tap into your chaos energy and alchemize it. All your fears, all your doubt, all your dreams, all your aspirations. Tap into the void that exists within you, where everything non-exists to exist, I say. So you must understand, brothers and sisters, that... We as the original beings, whether male or female, both contain this masculine, fem I mean, I'm sorry, this, this um, powerful feminine energy. Oh, we, I'm, I, well, I guess I was right. We contain this masculine feminine energy and this uh, spiritual uh, or, or feminine feminine energy. Both because our, 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 our spirits are feminine. All right, and our bodies are masculine. Both of we, we both you males and females. When you females, you have the double. You have a, you have a, 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 a masculine feminine energy and a spiritual uh, uh, feminine energy. We males, on the other hand, we have a, um, we're, we're a bit different, okay, because we have a, a more so a masculine masculine energy but then we have a spiritual feminine energy all right so we have that we're the males are literally those who are supposed to help contain and keep balance but the females are those who are the chaos and this is why it's important for you all to understand the power that is within you this is why we are fought against so hard and 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 to coming who we're supposed to be this is why you have all of these distractions out here that's, that's in front of us okay understand who you are all right. single thing I wish everybody knew was how important their darkness was. The concept of love and light is glorified in religion, but also in spirituality where everybody claims to be love and light, but no one talks about darkness. Before you assume I'm alluding to anything sinister or evil, I'm going to stop you right there. This idea that darkness is synonymous with evil is exactly the problem. Firstly, if that's your view on darkness, you should watch the video pinned at the top of my profile that talks about the concept of darkness, which Lizzo liked, by the way. I'm very proud of that, but you should watch that video first before you 
watch this one because this video will be talking about why it's important. I need you to understand that your darkness is your self-preservation whilst your light is your selflessness. Darkness is your protection whilst your light is your vulnerability. You cannot be one or the other, you need to balance the duality. And I always teach my clients that love and light can only get you so far. It's like trying to win the race walking with just one foot. You will only get so far. You've been told that the yardstick of being a good person is in relation to how much you can be in the light, i.e. how much you can give, how much you can tolerate, how much you can turn the other cheek. This has created a good portion of submissive people pleasers that don't know their worth. Stepping into their darkness, i.e. their audacity, their protection and self-preservation is frowned upon. But the more spiritually mature you become, the more you realize that you've been deceived. Being in the light is not enough. You have to armor yourself with knowledge. If your concept of being a good person is how much you can give and tolerate other people, you're going to have a very ugly realization. Because whilst light will get you a seat at the table, darkness will get you a voice at the table. Even though begging can get you somewhere, demanding gets you farther. Most of you carry trauma around being a good person because the more you give yourself to others, the more you think you're good. Being a good person is not a strict black and white. Sometimes you're going to be required to fight back instead of staying silent. Some occasions you'll be required to return the slap instead of just turning the other chick because if you're not going to fight for your values you might as well not have any. If you are neutral in situations you don't stand for anything. Balancing your darkness with your light is a commitment to truth. Even when it's difficult it's a reflection of your character, your morals and your values. What I find very interesting about the peace and love people is that it's only light if it's perceived by others. What are they going to say? How is it going to be perceived by them and you're left with this internal chaos that does not match your reality? The one and see, that, that was a very good um, subject there. Um, a very good message with that sister is talking about the darkness and love and light. Because, here we go. Caught up in religion, religion teaches you Jesus is the light. Jesus is the light. Love. All right? You go into the media. What does the media tell you? Oh, love. All right? You have to understand, brothers and sisters, that... We are mystical beings, and mystical beings delve deep into dark energy, dark powers, dark uh, everything. All right, we knew how to love each other. Oh yeah, we had, we had. Oh my goodness, we had some of the greatest sex ever. I swear, we knew how to love each other. But there comes a point where you have to balance out your energy, and you have to know how to fight. You have to know how to fight without using physical weapons, which is the darkness. And this is what makes us so mystical. This is why these beings want to shut off that part of us, the mystical part of us. All right? All of our information, everything is literally in plain sight. It's just that we got to dig deep within ourselves to find us, okay? true representation of who we at once were. This is a true representation of some of the Atlanteans. As you can see, everything is in front of us. We are mystical beings. We so-called African Americans, who are the Atlanteans. We are mystical beings. We have what they call mysterious powers that are unknown to many beings, except for the so-called elite. They know who we are. All right. They know how we fought. So we had to, they had to literally fight to get us to literally dumb down our frequencies. So now we have to increase our frequencies through meditation, chants, dark energy, dark powers. Understand who we are, brothers and sisters. We contain a power that cannot be explained by mankind. And many of us refuse to tap into this energy. This is where our power, this is where our weapons are. This is where everything that, that, that we are is within the very essence of our beings. Understand, understand, brothers and sisters, 
everything is in front of us. Know that there are no limitations to what you can or cannot do. And I start thinking about it as the prayer thing. I'm like, they steady saying like he ain't supposed to talk back to you and all, 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 all. And I start realizing, bro, I'm just guiding myself. And it's like having these things around me, I start realizing, bro, when I'm praying, I'm talking to myself. So I'm like, am I God? I'm like, if I'm technically a kid, I'm my father for sure. I'm watching my face turn into my father a little more every day as I get older. I'm saying like, gee, I'm talking to myself. So I gave up that religion part and I'm just more spiritual. Our uh, giving praises to our ancestors was not worshiping our ancestors. A, a person of higher elevation in science does not worship something that they know they already are. They connect with it and they form certain rituals that represent the dynamics of that which was the becoming of themselves. I am frequency, I am energy, I am power, I am knowledge, I am wisdom, I am everything. This is who I am. say, well, how do I go into this energy? How do I find this energy? How do I find this power? All right? That's the first question they ask. How do I find this power? And you take the time. Take a seat. Take a seat. Get your, get your, 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 your dining room chair or a stool. Sit down on the stool or you can sit down on the floor if you want to sit like this in this like this in chair take deep breaths in and out slowly deep breaths in and out say within yourself I link into the darkness within me I link into the dark powers within me. I link into the inner energy within me. And then you say, I open the gateway to all of my ancient ancestral abilities and power. See, this is something you gotta dig for. But see, this is this is something that's deep within you. It's a power that is within you that is literally designed to take you into another level. Like we say, we know you don't have our charging stations. We know we don't have our charging stations, but you still have the ability because you have the planet to charge you up. And you are that energy within yourself. Now it's time to advance without the physical properties. Okay? Though our enemies destroy the, the, the physical things that we use to charge our bodies up, we have to literally advance and evolve into different types of beings because we are mystical beings. So you go deep within you. And then the next thing you say is, I link into the ancient energies, the ancient powers, the ancient forces within me. I bring this up from the depths of my soul and to my heart and my spirit. I enter the dark chambers of nature and the cosmos that I may see myself in my perfected form, that I may be the being who I was created to be from the beginning of the creation of this planet. So you have to go into the mystical energy and the mystical power to find this force, to find this power. 
There's nothing on the outside of you. There's no one. Someone said, well, what about can we get some help or something? You are your own help. You have to go deep within yourself to find this power, to find this energy, to find the forces within you because we are mystical beings. Yes, we can move the wind, we can move water, we can move the ground, we can move fire. Yes, we can move plasma, magnetism. There is so much about us that we can do. But you got to go within yourself. You got to take out that time. All right. Remember, it's not about the amount of time that you spend. It's about the amount of energy that you generate. And many times you generate your energy through your thoughts. I link it to the most ancient part of my soul. I link it to the old energy. I open up the ancient books within my soul that my spirit may be able to read these books and bring me back into this excellent power of nature and the cosmos. So you open up the book within your soul and your spirit reads this book. And then your body knows because all of the books are within us. We have libraries of information within us. So you say, I open up the book of mystical knowledge within me that my spirit may read it. I open up these books within my soul. This is how we go back into that power, to that force, and you bring yourself into this ultimate power because we are mystics. This is what makes us so dangerous. This is what makes us so powerful. It's it's literally unexplainable to mankind because mankind literally cannot comprehend the true power and the nature of who we are. So they will want to emulate or imitate everything that we have done on the cinema so that we can be entertained and not educated. You understand that? This is an important part of our journey and our lives on our realm to, because we are learning how to protect our realm, how to protect ourselves, how to protect our people. Your weapons are within you. You have a higher self as well as a lower self. You are that power within that power. Everything about you is within you. Everything within you is who you are. That mystical power, that mystical energy, the mystical force, everything is on you. All right? Keep this in mind. There's nothing more powerful than you going within yourself and finding everything that has been holding you back because all the time it's been you holding yourself back remember these instructions I link it to the darkness within me I link it to the dark powers within me to the dark forces within me I open the gateway within me that I may become a being of power in the physical as well as the spiritual. Because once you tap into this energy, you're not only being a powerful being in the physical realm, you're also being a powerful being in the spiritual realm, which means that the spirit and the the physical and the spiritual begin to work together, which will literally um, manifest the higher self within you and your higher self will literally begin to operate in your lower self you become one your higher self is the feminine energy your lower self is the masculine energy male and female dark and light negative and positive you understand this this is deeper than the concept of anything that you could ever understand and mankind cannot gain this in this level of knowledge through the cinema because he cannot practice this. Many of them have, who have practiced it in the past and the present day are, are, are spontaneously combusting and those who practice it in the past have spontaneously combusted that. All right? We are mystical beings, brothers and sisters. Go deep within yourself and find this mysterious power. You have to dig with, deep within yourself but you have to go into your soul. You have to take the time and go into your soul 
Because once you go into your soul, you open that gateway, that unlimited energy, that unlimited power, that unlimited force, that unlimited frequency, that unlimited vibration, yes. And you will understand yourself much better on a higher scale. All right, brothers and sisters. I pass this message on to you. I hope you all got this information. This is not for entertainment. This is for educational purposes only. There's no entertainment in any of this. So don't think there's entertainment. Don't think the first couple scenes are all entertaining. No, 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 no. This is, this is education. This is all education. All right, brothers and sisters. I'll catch you later, guys. All right? All power to the multi chakra celestial angel beings. May chaos run with you forever and ever and ever. Remember, your chaos with mystical beings. Turn back to this mystical power that belongs to us. All right? Much power to you all.